Every Tuesday morning, junior pre-vet major Marshall Basham wakes up early to feed and take care of horses. I don't really have a whole lot of experience with horses, so I decided to volunteer, get some more hands-on experience. He's also working with a U of A professor to prepare his honors thesis, which would study a bird called the American Woodcock. But Basham says he was thrown for a loop when his mentor was furloughed because of the recent federal government shutdown. I'm also working on a, a lot of like proposals for research grants, so I've been kind of scrambling to get everything done. While the shutdown had him in limbo for 16 days, Basham said his veterinary experience was briefly limited to feeding horses and cleaning what comes out the other end. Some would say that shoveling manure is a good metaphor for what's going on in Washington, D.C. right now. Earlier in the government shutdown, Congress's approval rating reached 5%. Now a new state directive would cut funds to university programs, furloughing over 100 employees and ending research projects. We spend the money, we invoice the federal government, and then we get the money back. Vice Provost Jim Rankin says that's the way research works, but the shutdown limited the funds that would be given back. The end of the government shutdown should fix that, but researchers aren't out of the woods yet. You're going to have to go back and start over some of those research experiments. The worst part of the government shutdown is already over. For students like Marshall Basham, that means two weeks were tough, but not the end of the world. We definitely have to work a lot faster, a lot harder, but I think we'd be okay. For the Lemke Newsroom, I'm William Bowden.